<coughs> Ew. Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to our channel, guys. We are the Hernandez family. Excuse my hair. Hold up. I'm gonna see how I can fix it. <coughs> but I'm sick. I don't know if you guys can hear it, so I look like poop. <laughs> uh, my throat hurts. Ethan's it, gonna it be our back here. audience. Hi. Hello. So I have a notebook. Don't mind us looking down here and there because we're trying to make we don't want to over explain this video I mean we just want to tell you the news so I know in the last video well a, a few previous videos <laughs> back I was kind of um, explaining you to you guys why we haven't been uploading I know I'm recording this on sa Sunday right what's today's date Sunday the third Sunday the 8th. The 8th. Sunday the 8th. But it's going to be posted in the future because we want to post Ethan's birthday vlogs next to his birthday. Like, I don't think it'll make sense if it's his birthday and then I wait till like three weeks from now, you know? Alright guys, so in the previous few videos, like a few videos back, I was talking about a few reasons why we stopped uploading. And there was a reason I couldn't talk to you about back then. But... I told you guys that it was because I didn't want any bad energy to like stop us from getting this opportunity and I know people out there are only watching us to keep updated to talk trash so I was like no -uh, I'm gonna wait till it's done so should we just show them the video that I recorded of me telling you oh yeah okay I'm gonna insert a few clips and then we'll talk about it after hey guys so i am recording on my phone obviously and you guys can see me over there so i woke up to some good news today i woke up around 8 09 surprisingly alone ethan didn't wake up Edgar didn't wake up first so i was like okay got my hair done well i did my hair whatever and um lately i've been feeling myself right so i was like i'm gonna go do my hair go back lay down uh, maybe do a little bit of makeup and then we'll see what's gonna go okay so i just got some news right now oh when i was curling my hair i saw the texts but our future landlord just told us that our paperwork got approved we've literally been waiting since December for this and um I'm pretty sure in the previous video I explained like the process that we were going through like why we waited three months um and all of that but I finally got the approval news they haven't told us move-in day yet she said by the end of this um week so I'm gonna give Edgar the news. He might be excited. He might be like, "What? She hasn't given you. She hasn't given us the date yet." Because I mean, we have waited like the, all of December, all of January, all of February. So yeah, three months, and then March started. So it's going to four. <sighs> I'm excited. I'm gonna go tell him. But right now, I'm like so happy. I mean, I was gonna do it anyways, but now I'm doing it happy i'm making us waffles and eggs guys so i'm just stopping by real quick to tell you that i'm deleting edgar's reaction to me finding out we got approved because like i said it was whack and he looks a little rude because i was like oh we i mean i got the message and he's like one message that we're getting the permit and i was like no i mean our paperwork went through and then we got approved and he's like oh so when's the day and i was like i don't know yet until friday and he's like so i'm kind of like um no delete so the footage you're gonna see right now is when i was told the day which was that night and hope you guys enjoy what do you think of moving in on monday afternoon <gasps> What? Yeah, I just got the text. So you are moving this week. <laughs> I knew something was going 
everything was sketchy because they were like, and I just told you, why do you think it's so good? So that's the news. We're moving, and um, I want to explain that whole thing because obviously we were at an apartment. But what happened after that? Because you guys were totally blindsided after that. We were at the apartment. Then we moved to my parents, and then we're gonna move out. We moved back to our parents because we hated that apartment with like a passion. And then there's like so many reasons that I'm gonna explain in a bit. So the first reason, when we were living there with our roommate, I was always looking for other apartments, other like places, I'm not saying that Pomona is a bad like location, but like every city has its good locations and their bad locations. We were in the bad Pomona side, and I didn't like it at all. Like, first of all, we were paying half the rent, right? And then I was like, okay, we're paying more than all these other apartments, and I would like look for other apartments, and they'd be nice, like literally brand really new nice. built for like 200, 300 dollars less and I'd like tell our roommate like we should move and then his negative ass it was gonna be like oh no but you guys already decided to move here like what's the point you guys were the ones that rushed it blah 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 and I'm like oh my god just because I wanted to rush move out doesn't mean I can't move out again so that would stop us from moving out but then he moved out and that's when I told Edgar, like, we need to start looking because he moved out and then they raised the price also, like, three more hundred dollars, yeah. right? <laughs> and I was like, oh, hell no. I'm not going to pay three more hundred dollars if I'm not getting anything in exchange back. They literally told us a week, the week we paid rent. Oh, they're going to raise the price to yeah. um, 1700 yeah. And we were supposed to be paying from the beginning 1400 Yeah. So it's a coincidence that all of a sudden it just raised up out of nowhere without a notice and yeah. all that. So we had to pay that money up front. Yeah, so we paid it or whatever. And uh, what frustrated me was that I already had money aside. And I'm the type that is like, Edgar can agree with me. I'm stingy with my money, where our money... I don't like spending on things that aren't necessary, essential or anything. Yeah. Like literally, I got him a Apple Watch for his birthday, and he got the plan. But then we canceled it because I was like, "You always have your phone on you. Like There's you don't, no point. you don't need to leave your phone and then go across the freaking city and then not do it." But even now, we're like what 15 minute drive away from his job, and I when he gets a freaking phone call or something. His watch starts ringing next to me, and I'm like, what the heck? She's like, who the hell's calling you? So first of all, I'm like, those are $15 a month that could go towards a like, light room that we actually use for his job. So I was like, okay, the rises went up. I'm not getting anything, like, nothing's give, being given to me for 300 extra, and service is shit. The landlord was shit. So after that, we moved out. We came to my mom's. We came to my mom's around Christmas time because she was so depressed like so she still is but like christmas time is just like a for my mom it always has been and now that her my grandma's dead it's 10 times worse we came for a week and in that week my mom was like you should stay that's that that was the week where she was like telling us like yeah stay you should stay save up that money that you would be paying in that place to pay for the other one and save aside so you could start getting a house. Cause, okay, let me be honest with you guys. We didn't have no savings. We had nothing because technically all the money that we had, we had spent it in Mexico. Like we had put oh, money yeah. inside in Mexico. It was like two thousand dollars. We had um, we had to pay the extra money for the uh, for the rent and the deposit. So all those things just added up to the point where we just, you know, we had, we just blew out all our savings. Yeah. And luckily, I mean, Chelsea's mom was like, you know, you guys should just stay here and then we'll help you guys out if you guys help us out. Um, and to be honest with you, like, Chelsea started budgeting on the, on the oh, yeah. beginning of the month and ever since then, like, things have been working out so good. The apartment was filthy. Like, we came in, it looked whatever. I mean, first of all, didn't look cute and it bummed me out but then I made it cute but you we noticed like a week later that there was there was cockroaches like a lot and then we tried like 
killing them and like covering the holes and everything but because it's an apartment complex if there's you know like the pipe holes they weren't completely sealed and whatever is in other neighbors houses can go to us we had a mouse, I think, right? Or a rat? I it don't was know. inside we never the saw wall. It. And it would scratch, like, in the night. Yeah. And then, we know it wasn't us because we were clean, but the neighbors, we heard they had 10 chihuahuas in there. So, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, and then they had more. No, that's what the lady Yeah, and then they us. had puppies, so it was, like, crazy. But, um, yeah, it was just too much. It was, um, they raised the prices. Parking. We never found parking. Every day of the freaking week we'd be stressed out coming home because we wouldn't know if there was parking close or we'd have to carry ethan in his heavy ass car seat like across yeah <laughs> not across the street literally you would have to walk from all the way to the end like a whole street yeah. um yeah that's pretty much it like why we moved out we came over here to save money Mama was like, you, you shouldn't be paying that much, especially now that they raised the price. There was already tension with the landlord. It was like so negative, we couldn't have stayed. So I was like, okay, we filed the paperwork for here. Um, the lady was like, you're like most likely going to get approved, so um, just, just wait for the phone call. It took three months huh, for the paperwork to go through and everything, but we got approved. We're moving out tomorrow, right? But honestly... We lived on our own for like how long after he moved out? Six months? No, after he moved out. Oh, uh, like two months, three two months? months? Two months. Two months. Yeah, two months. We were living on our own, no roommates, no parents, no nothing. And it was like... Relaxing. <sighs> so relaxing. Like, I don't know. I feel like Edgar and I are such... Like I explained in the other video where I was talking about why we weren't recording. Edgar and I are such energy people. And if there's someone with like... Bad energy. energy it's like we're uh, two and then like we're like everything really, just adds up yeah and then we argue because of the other people and then like i'd argue with him because of our roommate all the freaking time like dude he can't even get out of his fucking room this this and that and then that would cause tension between us because edgar hates like drama drama and then i'm kind of like i'm not starting drama for no freaking reason like this is annoying. It's just the actions that our roommate had. So we're just like, we were just over it. The energy that was like, Ugh. I was like, just over the like, argument. I'd be excited that. about something. Like, we should move out. And he'd be like, why? I mean, you guys were the ones that rushed it in here. And then, and then like, oh my God. I was like, whatever. We'd be like, come to the living room. Uh, and I'd be like, oh my God. I'm not here to raise a fucking teenager too. Like, I have my own son to deal with. You know what? At the end, I didn't even talk to him. I was like, you know what? I don't need to fucking talk to you. It's always been Chelsea and I, and, like, we're just... We both, if we disagree on something, we disagree on something, and it's in between us. It's not, like, everybody and all that. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. Like, we can't wait to live on our own. We can't wait to, like, start going out, eating how we want to eat, because um, it's going to be our fridge with the type of food we want to eat. Because I'm trying to lose weight. After the baby girl, and my mom's not gonna help. Yeah, so, uh, we wanna thank you guys for your patience and waiting so long for us to start uploading. And, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This camera is literally on no battery, so we're gonna end it. And he's literally running late to work. <gasps> oh, shoot! So, oh. I just saw the we love you guys. Thanks yeah. for watching. Um, we're gonna start uploading Mondays and Fridays. We're gonna try. No promises, but for sure, I will promise you once a week. Like it's a for sure. The other one is gonna be a maybe, but yeah, Mondays and Fridays. Get um, stay tuned for the empty apartment tour, and then a lot of home DIYs because. This is my apartment, and I'm gonna do whatever the heck I want. Even and we've been he doesn't planning, approve. 